It's Luke at the ready. Liam's inside. Hiya. Ready to go. Ready to hit the road. go North World readout it's quite a, a cool looking place isn't it really yeah it really just sort of goes in a line like that and it's got um, a moat in a ditch either side all the way around so somehow you should get in there There's one, <laughs> can see it. So this here is an Alan Williams turret. It was a 360 degree um, metal gun position built in World War II for home defense. Um, and I believe in World War II that the North World readout was actually used as a vulnerable defensive point. This would have been good for that reason. Um, we're gonna go inside and have a look. Not very easy to get in. Um, there's a lot of the original fitting still here. Um, here we've got the actual gun mount, which I think would be for Bren machine gun. Um, and look at that, it's still there. So you would have stood in here with the gun. Don't get a very good view. Not very good view <laughs> at all. Somehow you would have fired out of there. Um, behind, there's all these little holes in the sides. I think these would just be for 360 degree observation. Um, you've got a little seat on the side here. Maybe the gunner might have sat in there and fired out that way. Something like that, possible. Um, and we've still got bits like the original wheels all around the outside um, to rotate the whole thing. I think it would have gone, at, gone down a little bit deeper. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not sure it would have been very bulletproof, not that thick, but I think it probably would have stopped quite a lot of bullets, um, but maybe no explosions. <laughs> original sign looks like number one magazine or something so here is one of the radar masts from uh, the radio company that operated on the site look at it it's just crashed down here through the trees So Joe's trying out the new portable camera, the Osmo Mini, that we hopefully was gonna start using it for our vlogs. Um, but I've got the GoPro on me at the moment, which obviously 
it's a lot more waterproof so you know it's going to be ideal for going in there Plenty around you. Yeah. So Liam's about to get his GoPro out and uh, we'll cut to Liam cam. So my legs are now fully submerged in the water. The wages are holding up so far. I don't want to lose my balance. Um, we're about to go into one of the rooms now. Let's go and check it out. Wow, oh, that is amazing. Look at that. Beautiful view, that. That's worth it. That is worth it. Wicked. So I'm inside it at the moment. Doesn't look like there's really much in here to be honest. Um, it is really cool because it's got a great view down to either end. Um, but in terms of like items of interest, there's not much other than what looks like some of the old dumped radio equipment and masts um, all underwater. Um, you've got a few bits like these little sort of hole things in the walls, um, similar to what was in the non-flooded section. Um, but there's not too much, so I think we're going to head back out now. But it's still worth doing. It took the whole leg. <laughs> Created a bit of a smell though. It does smell a bit, yeah. The water didn't look very good, there was all sort of black sludge coming out as you took steps. But yeah, it was really cool inside. Wasn't that much to see really, it just sort of, there's just sort of one long tunnel with all these rooms at the front going off. But um, it was still worth having a look around. Just looking around here at the back entrance to the flooded area, we've got this room. Over in the corner there, you can see there's an old bench and that looks like it's made out of old sleepers. It almost looks like it probably is part of the original fault. An old bench or a table. Look at that, you can see how the water level has marked the walls. And look there to the right, an original looking door. That is cool, look at it. <laughs> and then here's the old table bench thing. Look at that, I mean that is ancient. It's like sleepers or something on there, they're thick pieces of wood. There wasn't much of interest in this room. Although, I did come to the back here to look at this. It's whatever that is. It looks incredibly old, look at it. No idea what that piece of machinery is, but I can only imagine it's from the original fault here. Look, you've got the old bench, you've got the old door, and I'm in the little alcove at the moment. Just look at this thing here. I don't think there's any writing on that plaque. Or if there is, I can't see it. But look at that, that's a very cool old bit of machinery. Um, I think we've seen all we come here to see. So I think that wraps up our trip to Northwield Redoubt. It's a really interesting place. Um, luckily I didn't get wet. Um, yeah, I think we all had a good time, yeah. Yep, so yeah, a lot of the sites, especially in the areas that we didn't perhaps think were possible, but uh, we did. So, of course, don't forget to subscribe to us, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, you know what to do.